Welcome to the UK. In our video, we will be exploring the history, various cultures, and new developments within the UK. Let's get started off with the United Kingdom as a whole. Made up of four independent nations, England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland, 84% of the population resides in England, 9% in Scotland, 4.5% in Wales, and 2.5% in Northern Ireland. Many common institutions exist between the nations, but differences exi exist in support of the monarchy, political parties, athletic teams, and specific cultural differences. Typically, citizens of the UK are more reserved and respectful of personal space, time, and etiquette than their US counterparts. The UK still shows connections to its rich history in the form of architecture, art, and sports, which you can see in the various cities. Many aspects of US cultural culture mirror that of UK attire, music, and cuisine, which makes sense as most of the US was once a British colony. First, we will begin with England. English is one of the most dominant languages in the world, and famous English cultural influencers include Sir Isaac Newton, William Shakespeare, the Beatles, and Elton John. English cuisine is very similar to that found in the U.S. and varies to the local strengths depending on where in the country you are. Famous items include fish and chips, shepherd's pie, and a full English breakfast consisting of eggs, bacon, sausage, toast, mushrooms, and tea or coffee. Staples of the English culture today include the Premier League, Football League, Anglo-Saxon architecture, and the royal family. English weather is varied and unpredictable, so the tweed jacket has become a staple of English attire. Next is Scotland. World-renowned for the kilt, Scottish whiskey, and bagpipes, Scotland's culture dates back to the rich history of family clans. Scotland has a beautiful countryside, including the Scottish Highlands, exotic wildlife, and famous castles like Edinburgh Castle. Scotland is considered the home of golf and features St. Andrew's Golf Course, one of the most prestigious and famous courses in the world. The official language is Gaelic, and although it may be diminishing in speakers, it is a cultural connection to the original clans of Scotland. Scottish cuisine focuses on fish and smoked meats, including haggis, the national dish. Haggis is sheep pluck onion stock that is simmered in sheep stomach. Scottish distilled whiskey is extremely famous around the world and is a primary export for the country. Made in single batch malt distilleries, Scottish whiskey such as Johnny Walker and Lagavulin date back to the late 1400s. Now moving to the western portion of the United Kingdom, we will find the country of Wales. Wales, being very close physically to England, is also closely tied in terms of culture and government with England. With the British Parliament assisting in many political and diplomatic affairs. While being closely tied to England, there are also plenty of facets of independent culture in Wales. To the areas of the north and west are mainly Welsh speaking, where there has been a, also a revival of the Welsh language in the southern regions of the country. This revival of the Welsh culture has spread into daily life, the classroom, and the media. In fact, the media in Wales promotes a very strong national identity. Even still, Wales celebrates the national holidays of Great Britain. Rugby and football dominate the sporting scene in Wales. However, the athletes from Wales participate for the United Kingdom as a whole in the Olympic events. Now moving across the Irish Sea, we arrive in Northern Ireland. Officially separated from Ireland in the 1920s, Northern Ireland has a cultural life that is very independent, yet also greatly influenced by trends in the United Kingdom as a whole. Northern Ireland is known for having a strong community, family, and religious ties. A good quote to sum up the culture in Northern Ireland is as follows. Cultural life in Northern Ireland tends to be public and oral. Outsiders are struck by the lively social life the importance of conversation, and the witty remark, and the abiding interest in music. Now that we have talked about the culture in the nation, we're going to look at how artificial intelligence will be impacting it. AI is changing the way people work and live. It's making everyday life easier by improving efficiency within the workplace and at home. AI will be continued to be integrated in the everyday lives of the UK citizen. One example is through products such as Siri and Alexa acting as personal assistants and helping to meet consumer demands and to recognize consumer preferences. 
Within the UK specifically, AI is estimated to be a 232 billion pound market. It has huge growth potential as more companies continue to invest into AI tech and development. The GDP in 2030 is expected to be 10.6% higher in England as a result of AI. Scotland and Wales are likely to experience similar high gains of around 8.4 to 9.8%, while Northern Ireland may see an even more muted gain of 5.4% of GDP. So now switching over to AI in the UK. The Prime Minister of the UK, Theresa May, spoke at the 2018 World Economic Forum annual meeting. She stated, we are establishing the UK as a world leader in artificial intelligence. We are absolutely determined to make our country the place to come and set up to seize the opportunities of AI for the future. General consensus among UK consumers, they all believe that AI will improve their overall customer experience of shopping online. It will do this by streaming processes, re reducing costs, and saving time for the customers. AI will pro provide the consumer with necessary information pertinent to their needs. Consumers will not be bothered by ads that do not match their demands or wants. AI enforces the anonymity effect. An example of this is butterfly clipping. Many consumers do not want to admit that they actually have hair loss, so this can make people feel more comfortable with purchasing a product online. Three ways marketers are making strides with artificial intelligence in the UK are increasing productivity, deepening the customer understanding, and improving the digital experience. And with that, we will now open it up for questions. We hope you enjoyed your stay at the UK.